You know, really what I want to highlight, and you've heard it tonight a little bit, we're, we're going to follow a very structured process. It works. You know, we've worked, it's worked in companies around the country. Um, we think we can make it work with the community. Uh, we're going to drive it. And what it requires, though, is engagement. We need alignment. You hear me, have already, a lot of you have already heard me say this, and going forward, we're going to talk about a lot. Alignment is really critical. We have lots of good things going on in the community. I sometimes refer to them as random acts of good work. There's lots of things that are going, but we're not moving the dial. You heard that earlier with the brutal facts. We get alignment, we get the vision, we get the strategies, we can make progress. And we do it under the umbrella of the shared values. So I think um, we've got a lot. But what you can expect, if we go to the next slide, um, I guess if it's up. <laughs> okay. In a little bit, um, we could really expect going going forward. I want to be straight about it. It's going to take a lot of time. You know, you heard me give a little story on Woodward. It took 20 years. Community is going to take 20 years, but we can make a lot of progress in the process and, and early on. It's going to be challenging. You know, we're going to make it it's very public. This is why we're starting this way. Everything we're going to do is we're going to be open to the community, transparent. It's going to be messy. Uh, we use that term. Some of my colleagues always refer to doing things like this as sausage making. You know, it's not pretty to watch, <laughs> but it tastes good in the end. <laughs> okay, so we're going to, this is part of the process. So we're going to be doing that. We think it's going to be dynamic. We got great people. You saw some tonight, the audience here. I'm really impressed. Um, and I think it'll be rewarding for those that join in that we're going to make a difference. We're going to change the community. We're going to be top tier. So I'm going to um, thank you for your participation. I'm going to let Mike, he's going to talk a little bit about some next steps, just some real structure. Please, though, when we wrap up, I really do ask all of you, provide some feedback in the lobby. Get, get those sticky notes. This is going to be part of the ongoing process. It's good. We're going to go out. Tonight it's here. In the future, we're going to go out to the community. We're going to go to churches. We're going to go to nonprofits. We're going to go to businesses. Ask for feedback each of the way so that everybody has a piece of ownership in, in, the, in the change and in the direction we're going. So thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, did a bad job of putting the agenda together in that I gave myself the role of first closing the Debbie Downer stage and then standing between you and Q&A with a few administrative items. But we want to be transparent uh, about some of the things that we have uh, ahead of us. Um, first of all, on the screen is our mission statement. I just want to point out that it's to facilitate. My job is to help facilitate the creation and implementation of, of a plan developed by the community, okay? It's not my plan, it's not Tom's plan. If we do this right, and we're determined to, this is our plan, okay? Um, so it's a little bit about the structure. There's this discussion of teams here, and uh, I wanna point out that that thing in the center there, that issue teams, when you just talk about how, you know, who's gonna take care of this issue or that issue, those teams have been populated with nobody at this stage, okay? So these teams that you met today were support teams, advance work, things like that to get us to this point. I'm so thankful to have had the chance to work with them and to get us to this stage. Um, lots of good work. And, and so you see the community is going to be in the loop on the development of this with reviewing drafts and getting feedback. So there's something to be asked of everybody in the community. Okay, um, there's mention on that previous slide of, of um, a steering committee. I want to be clear what their responsibility is. Somebody needs to keep an eye on me, um, besides my wife. And uh, th thank goodness they're there. Um, I've had the benefit of their counsel and advice to get us to this stage, and I have a vision for what, how this process will go forward. The, um, they also set a tone here for the values, and you heard some of them speak. And so, yes, there's, there's influence, but there isn't control of those issue teams that will be developed. Um, but uh, they certainly have brought us to this stage, and I'm so thankful that they have. Um, the, uh, they also have to take care of governance of the entity 
and, and uh, address any obstacles too. I mean, it's a, it's a good group of people. Um, I put their name here. I don't intend to read everything, but these are people who have brought us to this stage and are ready to get this uh, process engaged with the rest of the community. So thankful. Um, okay, and so just to list the uh, teams that have gotten us to this stage as well and done a ton of work, and you've heard from uh, a lot tonight. Um, so the uh, six at the top are ongoing, um, and the two you heard tonight, the shared values in case for change, have to run up at the head of this process a little bit, and they will do care and maintenance throughout this, and this is, these, are not or, these are not teams that uh, go away, uh, but they'll be there to address questions and help us, re help us remember about our compass, as Blake said, and uh, we do mean to keep this case for change alive and to remind us why we're doing this. Uh, next steps, we're gonna have a December meeting, uh, December 14th uh, at Ellis Arts Academy, um, and I believe it'll be in the afternoon. Uh, we wanna come back to you, we wanna get your comments tonight and other means, uh, stopping us, more cups of coffee, um, and getting to know you, and, and you'll see us back on December 14th offering these materials up, the revisions will be a little crisper going through it, I hope, but cover, focus the things that changed. Um, and so you can see we don't move especially fast because we need to get the input. Um, and then we'll move into the visioning stage. What does it mean to be a top 25 community? What are some of the characteristics and things that we should be thinking about as we move into the vision stage? Okay, and then uh, January, we'll do, a, we'll do rounds of meetings throughout the community to, to take this material around to people who can't necessarily get to the Coronado Theater easily um, or, or in a way that's at a time that's more convenient for them. So um, with that, I, I wanna thank you all for coming. We're gonna open this up uh, for Q&A. And I'm gonna turn it back over to Steve Shannon for that. Thank you.